Hello, in this video we're going to look at the concept of the marginal rate of substitution when we're dealing with a utility function with three goods. So here is our utility function. It's a function of three goods, x, y, and z. And we're going to solve for a number of different marginal rates of substitution. So the first one we're going to get here is the marginal rate of substitution of x for y. And as you can see, it is a partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good x divided by the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. So first looking at this utility function and taking the partial derivative of it with respect to good x, that's what we got in the numerator here. We bring down the 0.5 in front and then 0.5 minus 1 leaves x raised to the minus 0.5 power and we don't have to do anything with the y or z variables here. And then we're going to take the partial derivative of this utility function with respect to good y. So we're going to take this 0.25 and bring it down in front. So that's where this 0.25 is coming from. We don't need to do anything with the x term. Uh, for the y term, it's going to be 0.25 minus 1. So that's why we have y now raised to the minus 0.75 power. And we don't have to do anything with the z term. And so you'll notice here that the z terms cancel. And 0.5 divided by 0.25 is 2. Following the rules of exponents, we're going to move this x to the minus 0.5 into the denominator. And that'll leave us with just x. And then we're going to move this y to the minus 0.75 into the numerator. And that'll give us just y. So that is a marginal rate of substitution of x for y. Let's get some more. Here's a marginal rate of substitution of x for z. So you can see the partial derivatives here. So numerator is exactly the same as our first example. In terms of the denominator, we look at the z term. We can take the partial derivative of that. So we take this exponent and we bring it down in front. So that's why we have 0.25 down here now. Uh, we don't have to do anything with the x or y term. Uh, but the z term, we need to subtract 1 from the exponent. So 0.25 minus 1 is why z is now raised to the minus 0.75 power. Uh, once again, 0.5 divided by 0.25 is 2. The y terms cancel. The x to the minus 0.5 gets brought down into the denominator. So in the denominator now we have x to the 0.5 times x to the 0.5, and that's just x. And then likewise with the z term, we're going to just move it up into the numerator. So now in the numerator we'll have z raised to the 0.25 times z raised to the 0.75, and just adding the exponents we're going to get z. So that is our result. And one last marginal rate of substitution, we can do the marginal rate of substitution of y for z. And you can see the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to y divided by the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to z. Um, so in the numerator here, we're taking the partial derivative here of y. So the 0.25 on the y term gets brought down in front. So we have this. We don't do anything with x term. We're going to subtract 1 from this exponent on y. That simplifies to y raised to the minus 0.75. And we don't do anything with the z term. And then lastly, we take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to z, and we get our prior result. Simplifying 0.25 divided by 0.25, that's just 1. The x's cancel, and bringing this y minus 0.75 down into the denominator will just leave us with y, and moving this z to the minus 0.75 into the numerator will leave us just with z in the numerator. And that is our results. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.